today we have a 2013 Ford Fiesta. We'll be replacing the radiator and the fan. So replacing the radiator, first thing we're going to do is remove the air cleaner box. Go ahead and unplug this, pull this red tab up, push down to remove the air, mass airflow sensor. And now with a number, either with a Phillip head, flat head, or number seven socket, we're gonna go ahead and remove the hose clamp here and pull it off the throttle body, as well as go ahead and pull this off here, like so. So after doing this, we're gonna remove this hose here. And with a T20, we're gonna remove these four torque screws to get this box out, the top portion of the box out of the way. Now, once you've removed the top of the air cleaner box, um, you can just basically pull out the full box now. It's just connected to the bottom with a um, some grommets. So just kind of pull upon it, as well as right here, just pull up on it. So once we pull that up, uh, you can remove this hose here. I believe you just kind of twist it. Uh, let's see. Well, let's wait till we get a little further up. Can't really get a good grip on it down there. So let's get this out. Just pull up, being gentle. It's just held in place by some grommets. Also forgot to mention, once you remove the grommet here, you will have to remove this here. Just push down and pull it out. This is basically uh, held in. This box held in by two grommets behind here, one here, and then by this here. Now I have the air cleaner box removed. Um, to get this hose out, pretty much just uh, push back until you see how the tabs on the side kind of go up. Once you do that, just kind of twist it and pull it back. Those clips really just hang on right here on this lip. So it's pretty easy, just like I said, push back, just see the clips go up and just kind of wiggle it out. Now that the air box is completely removed, we have a good amount of room now to get everything. So what I'm gonna do now is um, drain the coolant so that we can start working on getting the fan and the radiator out. I'm gonna start with the bottom one to drain it. It's just like this top one here, just push these two hose clamps, uh, tabs on the hose clamp together, pull it back and just pull the hose off. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the bottom one just so I can drain the coolant first. And then I'm gonna come up top and do the same here. Once I do that, I can pretty much just start working around everything to get the fan out. This here, you can just kind of pull out. Uh, just connect it to a clip, just put it to the side, like so. Um, also, you can go ahead and start, once you, you can do it now or after you remove the hose, just start pulling the tabs off of the fan here. So I'm gonna go ahead and remove the coolant, get these hoses out the way and start removing these wires off the fan here. So I've removed both my radiator hoses, as you can see down there, the coolant drain. Um, also pulled the tabs off the, the um, from the wire harness to the fan and we'll separate it from the radiator. All you have to do is just pull these tabs up, two, one on each side, and just pull forward. So now I'm going to go ahead and pull this fan up and get ready to unplug it. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Just going to bring it right up, straight up like so. They're also going to be replacing this fan, so it's okay. So I'm gonna just work it out and try to get it up. So I've got my fan removed. Um, found it easier. You can drop it from the bottom if you want. However, I kind of just, uh, let's see, grab my fan real quick. Um, I kind of just flipped it. So this is my fan here, right here. I flipped it this direction like so down there. There's enough room for you to do it, enough clearance, and just pulled it straight out from the side here. Um, when you're moving the tap, the, when you're unplugging it, all you have to do is just push this down, this little clip right here, just push it down versus pushing it inward, just push it down, pull out. So now that we have this removed, I'm gonna go ahead and start getting the radiator out. Um, you're gonna have to remove these here. Um, so down on, behind here, camera right here sorry right here I'm just gonna push this down to get it out so for if you're looking straight at the vehicle right here you're gonna push that tap down pull forward like so to you can expose this grommet here and do the same on the other side but let me go ahead and do that with both my hands and we'll get to the next step so I got this little plastic pieces removed on both sides. Um, some people will say you have to remove this entire plastic portion right here to get this one. However, I just removed one on the side here right next to it and just kind of pulled back. Gave me enough clearance to pull this out. So now I'm gonna remove these little grommets here. 
which will allow me to push the radiator forward, like so. So now what I'm gonna have to do, um, you're gonna have to lift up to get it out of the grommets in the bottom. However, we're gonna have to separate it from the uh, AC condenser. So I'll have to go under the vehicle to separate that first, and then we can get the radiator out. So now that we're below the vehicle, as you can see, I'm just gonna pull these tabs right here, one on each side, uh, right here, to separate the radiator from the condenser. So I'm gonna go ahead and get that separated, then we're gonna pull the radiator out from up top. So I now have the radiator removed, as you can see here. Um, the condenser is still sitting in the vehicle. It really only attaches to these tabs here. Besides that, it just kind of sits there. So um, let me show you there. You can see the condenser just kind of here. Basically only in place because of the lines. Anyways, so before we can actually replace our radiators, a few things we're gonna have to do. Uh, if the rubber grommets for the bottom came out with your radiator, go ahead and take them out and put them either back in the vehicle, um, right there, or um, just put on the end of your radiator. Uh, also, if your new radiator doesn't have these little rubber grommets here either, then go ahead and transfer them. These do. But most importantly, you're going to need to remove this and transfer it over to your new one. Very simple, just pull the two sides out on the side here and pull it out. So I'm going to go ahead and go do that and transfer it over and then get our new radiator placed in the car. So I've removed that little valve here as you can see. I'm going to go ahead and place it in our new radiator. Keep in mind, it only goes one direction. Uh, so pretty much, if you remember, I just squeeze these tabs or lift the tabs out to get it out. You see a flat portion where the ring is around it. There you are, see? Uh, it only goes in that direction. So the flat portion for this one, or the groove is right there at the bottom. So make sure it goes in the same way until it's completely snug in, like so. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and slide our radiator in. Um, basically, I'm gonna go in like this and just twist it. So let's get the radiator in. Once it's in, clip it to the condenser and we'll get the new fan in. Now I have my new radiator in, uh, connected to the condenser as well as the uh, lower radiator hose attached. It's pushed into the grommets at the bottom. Um, so now we're going to put these back on. So when doing so, be sure to put the plastic, the little rubber grommet back on. Then you're just going to slide it in to lock it in place, like so. So now that that's done, we're going to go ahead and slide our fan in, go in the same direction, in, turning it over, and getting it through there. Now I've slid the new fan in, locked into the bottom of the radio there, as you kind of could see down there where the black uh, portion is, right there. Once it's slid in there, you go ahead and just pop it back in these clips up here up top by pushing it down. So it's locked in on both sides. Now we're gonna go ahead and just plug her up the bottom. This portion will be facing outward. So down there. So you hear that click, go ahead and put the wire harness into the position like so. back in here so now we're just gonna get the air cleaner box back in place uh, just kind of push it back in to two grommets here one here get this back on the air intake and then we'll finish it all up all right y'all so now we're pretty much done have the air box cleaner back on tighten down the t20 torque screws with the four holding the top portion in place plugged in the mass airflow sensor reattach this hose here as well as the one down here that clipped in. Retighten my um, hose to the throttle body with the number seven socket. You can also use a flathead or a Phillip, like I said earlier. Uh, the upper radiator hose is also back in place now. Tighten back up. So now all we're gonna do is fill her up to the max line with some coolant. And we're pretty much done. So thanks for watching guys. Please like, subscribe, more videos to come. So one last thing I forgot to mention. Oh, that part that we transferred over, go ahead and take it off and fill up your reservoir until the, rate, the coolant bleeds out through here. So as you can see, it already started going in. So just pouring until it bleeds out through here and you're done. So thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe, more videos to come.